and welcome to episode 18 of Ryan and Robin Wrexham, where today we are playing against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. Not going to be an easy game at all, but the good news is we are doing brilliantly in the league. We're still top and uh, we're actually seven points clear now. Fulham have dropped down quite a lot. Uh, Middle Middlesbrough are providing the hottest challenge for us. Um, but if you look at our recent form... Um, so the last games that you would have seen, where are they? There they are. Hull, Hull and Fulham. We beat, uh, we beat, drew one all with Hull and uh, beat Fulham 2-1. Then followed that up with a couple of dodgy results. A 1-0 loss to Huddersfield and uh, a 3-1 loss to Bournemouth. Uh, the Huddersfield game, um, actually, they had two goals disallowed as well. So it was really poor at that stage. Then all of a sudden, we just got, started scoring loads. So we've got five goals against Stoke, four against Coventry, five against Wigan, three against Forest Green, then beat Stoke again in a in the away game against them, and uh, beat Bristol City 3-1 two days later with a very rotated squad, so I was pretty happy with that result. And then a 3-0 away win against West Brom, who were really struggling this season compared to where they would expect to be. Uh, in today's episode, then, we're playing Crystal Palace away, uh, thankfully, Michael Elise is out. He, he's not very good on this. Actually, he's very, very good in real life. Um, lots of uh, of of people are fans of of his. Um, so we'll see what happens uh, as we play Crystal Palace, and then depending on how we get on, we might end up doing another game in this episode, which would be the FA Cup fourth round. But the chances of that happening are not necessarily slim, but you know, not they're not likely. Here is today's lineup then against Crystal Palace, who so actually I suppose were in the uh, championship last season, if I remember correctly, because uh, I remember Marco Connor was in the uh, Dream Eleven. Um, today's game, we've got James Maxwell in place of Rebchuk because Rebchuk is suspended. I think that's from last year. He got, uh, I think he got too many yellow cards over the course of the FA Cup run. Uh, and then we've got Ethan Galbraith in midfield with Oakley Booth. Galbraith actually had a, a 2.5 million bid from Lille. Um, who wanted to sign him this window um, but I turned it down and he wasn't actually too keen on going anyway I did I did ask for sort of 7.5 million pounds if they really wanted him um, which would have been a, a great amount to uh, replace him with but I'm happy to keep him uh, he's a very useful player to have and he's in very good form at the moment um, as are the likes of Garnacho and Whelan in particular has just he's just continuing to be really impressive um, He's now three and a half star, so he's definitely showing that he can do it in the championship. I don't think he'll be Premier League level at any stage, um, but he could potentially be a backup option when we get there. Um, if we ever get there, of course, but I think it's a matter of when rather than if. Um, I've never failed um, on FM to get to the Premier League. Um, well, usually I do it within one season. Um, I have done it in two seasons before. Um, but I've never, never taken three seasons, so hopefully that's a good sign that this season will be our season. And Mengi puts it home. We're in the lead against Crystal Palace. It's a difficult angle to score from, particularly as a centre-back, but he's done very well there. And we are actually controlling the game. If you're wondering why it suddenly jumped, that's because I was rudely interrupted and uh, as a result uh, had to go for about three hours. Um, but we are back again and Mullins just put it wide when he really should have done better. At least he's got to be getting on target, to be honest. Ramsey into Neto. Intercepted by Mengi. Oakley Booth looks long for Whelan, can't quite get it through because Karna's there. McNair back to Ward. No pressure from us there. And it looks like they might be in behind here, but Notche's there to clean up. Not the greatest kick from Savin, and now Catroni. And he finds Zaha, and he scores. And that is one all just before half-time. A bit frustrating, that one, but that's the way it goes sometimes against Premier League opposition. Let's go for that team talk. The boys are already all motivated pretty much, apart from Savin. He's just having a chill day. Oh, that's a poor pass, or at least should have warned Marlin that he was there. That's a brilliant tackle from... What? 
Oh, you're having a laugh. That was a great tackle. That's absolute rubbish, that. And that makes it a whole lot harder. Um, I guess we'll bring off Mullen. Um, we'll get Brett Powell. Oh, that's frustrating. Less than half a minute into the second half, we're down to 10. And it makes it very difficult. So what are we going to do? We're going to do... I can't bring Hanson Arrow in back here. And Garnacho is not really ideal to bring him back there. So I stick, think we'll stick with this. Um, Mullen for Brett Powell. Seems the most sensible decision. It's all gone a little bit wrong in the last sort of 10 minutes of game time. Colm Whelan finds Brett Powell. He's getting pressed quite a lot here. He did manage to find Hanson Arrowen, but uh, he can he can control it because it was too too powerful for him. But Whelan's in behind here, and we're back ahead. Wow, the ten men of Wrexham take the lead against Premier League opposition. And whether we can stay like this, I don't know. Particularly if they score instantly here. <laughs> Zaha into Jao Victor. Gets the return pass. Not quite sure how he managed to peel off the back there. And they've equalised straight away. Oh, this game is frustrating. Sometimes the game just don't love you back. And uh, that's unfortunately upset both Maxwell and Mengi. Callum White throws it into Oakley Booth. And, ooh, we some, somehow ahead, misjudged by Ward, and it's gone over his head, and Garnacho's been able to finish it nice and easily. Uh, maybe, maybe we will drop back into uh, this formation. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh, <laughs> almost conceded while I was busy doing that. No doubt I'll be jumping between the two for the entire game. And I think we'll also lower the tempo. Don't want to give the way away the ball unnecessarily. Are we really not set to overlap? I think that's something I might have overlooked then. I uh, definitely need need my players overlapping at some point. Uh, Hanson Aaron can come off for Rutherford and we'll bring Rutherford back to the right wing position. He can play as a winger. Uh, who else? I reckon we should get Ethan Galbraith. Now, Ethan Galbraith is having a very good game. I guess Garnacho can come off, but we don't really have any options to bring on for him. Maybe it will be Ethan Galbraith then. Simon Evans can come on in his place and hopefully help us see out this game. Maybe he'll have that little pass that we need on the counter to uh, to unlock the door and get a fourth goal. And we'll definitely start time wasting now. And hope that nothing happens late on. We've done it. We've upset Premier League opposition with 10 men as well. Um, I thought Notche was very unlucky to be sent off. But uh, we've managed to overcome that, that challenge anyway. I mean, obviously that means he won't be in the next game in the FA Cup. Which is a shame, but it means we're through to the fourth round. And that's exactly what we were hoping for. Um, we weren't expecting to, particularly away against the Premier League team. And let's hope that we don't get too difficult a game next. It'd be nice to have a proper cup run, get the finances up a little bit. Anyway, uh, let's head on and see who we're playing in the fourth round. And our opponents are Sheffield United. They are the team that beat us in the playoffs and they're 19th in the Premier League. So they're really struggling. And that will perhaps see us have an advantage in that game because we have much better morale than them and we're not too far off them squad-wise. Here we go then against Sheffield United. And today we go with a pretty similar squad to usual. That means that Garnacho starts on the left-hand side with this time Rutherford on the right. 
he's replaced um, Hanson Aaron due to, I think it was a cold he had. Um, Notche starts in centre-back with Mengi, Rebchuk on the left, and then Paul Mullen and Colin Whelan, as always, up front. Whelan actually got a 5.5 million bid from Brentford, which was his release clause, um, about three days before deadline day. Uh, I offered him a new contract, and he accepted, so he's now got an £11.25 million release clause, and a fair, fair bit more in wages, but I just couldn't afford to lose him. I didn't think I could sign anyone that was uh, on the same level. Um, at least not for uh, for less money than that, and we would have only received about three million pounds, uh, and then had to reassign quite a lot of it to our wage budget. Um, we also got a bid for Bryce Hosanna, which I did accept initially, but then had to turn down in the end because we simply couldn't sign anyone again that was uh, that would have uh, been affordable. I think part of the issue was that Hosanna doesn't have huge wages, and the amount of money he was going for, which was about seven hundred fifty k, decent for someone whose contract is expiring in uh, six months and who's, you know, sort of lower championship level. Um, we wanted to sell him, but uh, we couldn't sign anyone to replace him that would have been affordable. And as a result, we've left him, we turned that bid down in the end, and he's now staying with us for the rest of the season. Um, we also got a bit of bid for Che Dunkley. Uh, but we turned that down just sort of for a bit so we could keep our depth a bit because he was only going for £10,000 or so. Um, never be enough to sign anyone and uh, we didn't have any other centre-backs in the youth system uh, they also wanted us to pay £500 of his wages for the rest of his uh, time there which uh, given that he's gone in six months it wasn't really worth it anyway Davies throws it into Brewster finds Angel Gomez Callum White able to chase that one down pretty easily now Galbraith Looks long for Garnacho, but Chambers is there to intercept. No problems for him. Thankfully, Mengi got to that one first. Commanding uh, centre-back play that. Garnacho finds a red shirt, gets a return pass. He's in behind, and Whelan puts it home. This guy, he's just been absolutely sensational recently. You know, his stats don't suggest, or his attributes don't suggest that he's that good. But he's just, he just plays so well. The guy is genuinely special, at least at this level. Um, and, uh, you know, you wonder whether, if we were in the Premier League at this stage, whether he'd be doing it like he is against these Premier League teams in the FA Cup, or whether he's just, you know, he maybe just loves the FA Cup. Who knows? Sometimes you get those players. And that's an easy claim for Savin, who actually has done so much better Um in the uh, since the first few games of the season, I had him as a sweeper keeper. I changed him to goalkeeper, and that just seemed to sort him out completely. Um, I think maybe it probably probably just wasn't suited for sweeper keeper. Oh, this is a really nice position for a free kick for Notche. Oh, unlucky off the bar. I swear every time, every time we give away a free kick from that in that sort of area, it's a goal for the opposition. Every time it's for me, it's usually just wide or over or hit the bar or hit the post or whatever I'm pretty sure it's rigged Rutherford sends it into Whelan oh, off the post that was a powerful header really got up well as well Callum White though in behind and Rutherford oh that's a good save from Johansson we are totally dominating this game really good performance so far from the boys Mengi into Galbraith and Garnacho can't quite get there. Keeper had hadn't really got across to the near post, so it would have been a good opportunity for Garnacho to score there if he could have got there. Or oh, Galbraith off the bar. We're playing some sumptuous football. But we are only one goal ahead, and against a Premier League team that's always dangerous, particularly when you are a championship squad. Let's hope that we can get one more goal just to see us through. Braganza on the free kick. And off the bar from Chambers. I feel like the woodwork's been hit a few times today. Again, we're still controlling the game, which is very good. And Notche and Whelan, he's just always there. What a guy. 
I just don't know what it is with him. He's just he's just in men, he's mentally good. Oh, and now Notchy on the end and on the free kick. Can he prove me wrong? Nope. <laughs> Every time. I don't know quite how it how it's like this, but it just seems like the game don't love you sometimes. Like pretty much every time the opposition get a free kick in that position, I'm just preparing for a goal. When it's when it's my team, I'm not expecting anything. It's not fair. <laughs> now Braith, just before he comes off, chasing that one down. Rutherford finds White. Lots of space for him, and Marlins there probably should score. Hit it directly at the keeper. Fifteen minutes to go, and it looks like we are heading through. Four minutes left, another Braganza free kick. Savin does poke it out, but can't quite <laughs> deal with it more conclusively. Thankfully, in the end, it does rebound to him. Looked for all the world like it was going in, but thankfully not. And that means we've won 2 0, and we're through to the FA Cup fifth round. Question is, who are we going to play? It's going to be Norwich. That's probably about as good as we could have hoped for. I don't know what the other ties are looking like. Let's see the draw. So Norwich versus Wrexham, Portsmouth versus West Ham, City versus Liverpool or Everton. That could be good for potentially getting a bit further than we would usually because they've knocked each other out. Brentford Burnley, Nottingham Forest Wickham. Oh, Wickham would have been the ideal one. Uh, Bristol City, Middlesbrough, Wolves Villa. Blackburn or United, Leicester. So uh, yeah, I I'd, I'd happily take that take that draw because Norwich aren't doing well this season. We are. We should be favourites even though we're away from home. Uh, so we'll be back in the next episode for the FA Cup game against Norwich. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, have a fantastic day.